Our beginner's walking baseline for today is Satin Doll by Duke Ellington. This baseline was composed with the complete beginner walking bassist in mind. In this line you'll learn about the two feel and a very important chord progression in jazz music, the 2-5 progression. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. This is what the line sounds like. One, two, one, two, three. The first technical focus for this bass line is the two feel played behind the melody. A two feel is simply playing two half notes per bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We can spice things up a bit with some simple rhythmic variation, like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Stick with root notes and short rhythmic ideas when playing your two feels. This provides a nice contrast when we go to the B section with walking bass.
The second technical focus deals with the 2-5 chord progression. 2-5s are easy to spot. The 2 chord is a minor 7, written here as dash 7. They can also be notated as little m7, or as min7. And the 5 chord is a dominant 7, written with just a 7 after the note name. Here's a trick for you. The 2 chord and 5 chord are 4 notes apart. For example, for D minor 7, G7, D is note 1, E is 2, F is 3, and G, which is the 5 now, is the 4th note. 1, 2, 3, 4 notes apart. Further, all two fives share the same pattern on the bass fretboard. So if we start with the root of the D minor 7, the 2 chord, on the 5th fret of the A string, the 5 chord will be on the 5th fret of the D string. This pattern is the same for all two fives all over the bass neck. So let's look at E minor 7, A7. We can play the root of the E minor chord, the 2 chord, on the 7th fret of the A string. And the root of the 5 chord, the A7 chord, on the 7th fret of the D string. How about the 2 5 in line 2 on A minor 7, D7? A on the 5th fret of the E string, and D on the 5th fret of the A string. Same thing for A flat minor 7, D flat 7, A flat on the 4th fret of the E string, and D flat on the 4th fret of the A string. And I think you get the idea by now. There are many 2-5 progressions in Satin Doll. After this video, try to find all of the 2-5 progressions on your printout. Okay, let's play some 2-5 walking patterns. The first is from the B section, played during the melody chorus on the 2-5 in F. Looking at measure 1 of this 2-5 pattern, the pattern is root and minor 3rd on the 2 chord, G minor 7, and then root and major 3rd on the 5 chord, C7. So this pattern is root, third, root, third. The second pattern in the second measure is root, seven on the two chord, third, root on the five chord. The same two patterns can be seen in the next line on A minor seven, D seven. So this pattern is root, seven, third, root. And then the first pattern again in the second measure of this line, root, third, root, third, on both chords. Another great sounding pattern comes from the third line of the walking chorus in measure 42 and again in measure 44. In measure 42, we have the 2, 5 in C, D minor 7, G7, and the pattern is like this. Root, 7, 3rd, 5th. We have the exact same pattern of notes now for the 2, 5 in D, which is E minor 7, A7 in measure 44. Root, 7, third, fifth. There are other 2-5 patterns to discover, but I'll leave them for you to find. Use this line in your jam sessions, rehearsals, or even in your music school ensembles. This line is available to all Access members over on my Patreon page, or you can pick it up from my website, jaredplain.com. Thanks so much for checking out the video. I really hope you enjoy the line and take care.